All, All right. right. So, I can't believe neither of you two had your heaters on this morning. Really I, close. Yeah, I thought I almost John, did John it. John kind of missed the boat, I think. He told me a little story that he yeah. woke up here. <laughs> I didn't I realize it was that cold until I looked at the uh, <laughs> it says The temperatures woke you up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, 33, our morning low. That's the coldest going back all the way to the month of February. So it's been about nine months since we've seen temperatures that cold in the city of Tucson. Average low for this day would be 47 degrees. Average first freeze, if you're wondering, November 24. So, boy, we would have really eclipsed that by uh, a couple of weeks had we just gotten one degree cooler. I think this morning was the coolest we're going to see because winds are going to start to pick up. That will keep temperatures elevated somewhat. Uh, 28, we had 20s in Safford, 20s in Nogales, 20s also in Douglas, 3 degrees above zero this morning at the Grand Canyon. Your high temperatures only in the 30s today across Arizona's high country, 65 in the city of Tucson. And let's talk about those four P's. Of course, we want to talk about the pipes, the plants, the pets, and the people. All things needing to be protected. 58, last check of the airport, dew points four, north, northeast winds at seven. Those should start to pick up a little bit more. No 60s on the weather map. We're down into the mid 50s really all across the city of Tucson. And yes, we are mostly into the 40s across sections of Cochise County. Here's the plan for tonight. Looks like this is updated a little bit, keeping temperatures a little bit warmer, maybe mid 40s by 2 a.m. And that's courtesy of the fact that those winds really are anticipated to start howling out of the east. This is what it looks like at midnight, maybe a 25 mile per hour wind gust from Tucson, 31 in Nogales. So yes, we are expecting locally windy conditions, not only overnight tonight, but well into the day on Tuesday. And then Wednesday still looks to be a little bit breezy as well. Despite the winds, temperatures as air mass is so cold that we are expecting a hard freeze once again tonight for sections of Cochise, Southern Graham, Southern Greenlee County, and portions of Santa Cruz County. Remember, the hard freeze as opposed to a freeze means temperatures for several hours at or below 28 degrees. Snow showers in the state of New Mexico. This is a dry front for us. We're just seeing a nice little piece of energy ride down this jet stream on the border of Arizona and New Mexico. Meanwhile, high pressure rules the roost. Forecast for tonight, 30s for lows, daytime highs tomorrow into the low 60s, a cold start, windy. Northeast winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Could see some gusts to 35 miles per hour in Metro Tucson, maybe to 30 across Cochise County. Nighttime lows into the 20s for Cochise County again tonight, hence the hard freeze warning. And we'll keep things windy tomorrow, 61, breezy Wednesday, 67. This is looking a lot more like December, January than November. Back to the low 70s Thursday low to mid 70s to conclude the work week and into the weekend with nighttime lows from the 30s going back up to the lower 40s. All right, that's check your weather. Let's get together now with Mr. Paul Sikala. What's happening, Paul? Hey, thanks a lot. Fresh off.